new construction materials are constantly being developed to meet the demand of a construction industry. These materials offer a variety of advantages over the traditional materials like durability, improved strength, sustainability and energy efficiency. As these materials continue to evolve, they are likely to play an important role in the construction industry. Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the new construction material that is AAC blocks, autoclave aerated concrete blocks. This can be used as an alternative for bricks. So let's discuss what is AAC blocks, its raw materials, manufacturing process, and what are all the available sizes we have and its advantages, disadvantages and then its technical specification. So without further delay, let's begin now. Autoclaved aerated concrete is an eco-friendly and certified green building material which is lightweight, high insulating, load bearing and durable building blocks. The weight of the AAC block is three times lighter than the red bricks. Hence, it reduces the dead weight of the structure. AAC was developed in 1924 by a Swedish architect. Since the aluminium powder is added as a raw material, the concrete has 70 to 80% of air in it. The concrete is baked in an autoclave that is one type of the furnace, hence the name called autoclaved aerated concrete. Next, let's look into the raw materials which are used to produce AAC blocks. The materials are cement, sand, fly ash, lime, gypsum and aluminium powder. The aluminium powder reacts with water to produce hydrogen gas which forms tiny air bubbles in the mixture. These air bubbles give AAC blocks their lightweight and insulating properties. Next let's look into the manufacturing process of AAC blocks. All the raw material needs to be mixed properly and then a mixer is ready, the blocks needs to be casted on a mould. After that we have to demould it and then wire cutting needs to be done. So once the blocks are ready, it has to be cured on a high pressure steam for 12 hours. Once this process is completed, eco-friendly blocks are ready for the usage. AAC blocks are available in different sizes. Height is 8 inches, length is 24 inches and will be getting different width of AAC blocks. Height and length will remain the same and we get different width of the AAC block that is 4 inches, 6 inches, 8 inches and 9 inches. Up to 12 inches we can get. AAC blocks are used for a variety of construction applications such as walls, floors, roof, partitions, lintels, concrete countertops, fireproofing and soundproofing. Let's look into the technical specification of AAC block. First one is size, 600 is the length, 200 is the height and width will vary as we discussed before that is 3 inches to 12 inches, 75 mm to 300 mm. Here, here the size is given in millimeters, size tolerance plus or minus 5 mm in length plus or minus 3 mm in width and height. Compressive strength is 4 Newton per millimeter square and normal dry density that is given in kg per meter cube. So we have 551 to 650. So this is three times lighter when compared to the red bricks. Normal conductivity is maximum 0.24. Drying shrinkage percentage is maximum 0.05. Fire resistance is 2 to 6 hours depending upon the thickness of the block. And sound resistance is 45 decibels for 200 mm thick wall. Let's look into the advantages of AAC blocks. These blocks are eco-friendly and sustainable because we use recycled industrial waste such as fly ash which is non-toxic ingredient, no emitting gases. A fewer energy consumption makes the AAC blocks eco-friendly and sustainable. These blocks are easy to work with since it can be easily cut, drilled, nailed and grooved to fit the individual requirement. So according to the requirement, we can cut these blocks in any shape. So that is why it is easy to work with these blocks. These blocks reduce this the construction time up to 20%. We have different sizes of blocks that help to reduce the number of joint in wall masonry. 
since the weight of the block is less it makes easier and faster to transport place and construct the masonry without any hassle these blocks are three times lighter than the bricks which helps in reducing the dead weight of the structure and hence it is used in taller building the tiny air void present in the blocks provide excellent thermal insulation thus reducing the heating and air conditioning cost of the building these blocks are fire resistant up to 1600 degrees celsius which can withstand up to 6 hours of direct exposure so overall these blocks are sustainable durable accurate and versatile material which has a good soundproof natural insulation and it is lightweight material and it provide good fire resistance so these are all the major advantages of this aac if you take any material it will be having advantages as well as disadvantages similarly aac blocks also having few disadvantages aac blocks are brittle in nature they need to be handled more carefully compared to clay bricks to avoid the breakages the brittle nature of these blocks require longer and thinner screws when fitting cabinets and wall hangings the cost of this block is high as compared to other material but for high rise construction it is economical due to the less consumption of mortar the installation of aac blocks during rainy weather is known to crack after installation so this can be avoided by reducing the strength of the mortar and ensuring that the blocks are dry during and after the installation during rainy season these blocks cannot be installed so overall aac blocks are versatile and sustainable building material that offers a number of advantages over traditional building materials however they are also more expensive and can be more susceptible to cracking so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome if you really like the content hit the like button and also share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos